Greetings, Earthlings. Uh, a little video here talking about something very silly, seemingly, but important. Battery box supports on BCS tractors. If you've purchased a BCS tractor, a BCS walk-behind tractor, that is, in the last, say, 15 years, and if you've purchased an electric start, you've probably received a tractor with a battery box that looks something like this. Uh, BCS used to use uh, an older design years and years ago, which was more of a, a kind of a rectangular thing that had equi, equi, equal height sides on all sides of it. Then they went to this thing with this kind of sloped design uh, at some point in the, in the 2000s. And this was to kind of match the little plastic fairing that they would put on these things. Well, ever since they've done that, it's been a real challenge to mount batteries and you've probably noticed this if you if you purchased a tractor from either us at Earth Tools or any other BCS dealer um, the problem is when you set the battery in this thing and then you've got the hold down bolts that come with it that you hook in here now you can do these hold downs in a couple different ways you can you can actually have this thing try to hold the battery right on its corner, which it, it really hardly is long enough to do that. Or if it's got these, uh, these removal vent caps on top, you can pull back against the vent caps. Either way, you're gonna be pulling the battery this way because the, the little tabs you have to attach these things are, of course, on this side. Well, so whether you put it here or here, you're, you're attaching these tabs and you're pulling this thing down towards a side that isn't there. All you've got is a little inch and a half side on the bottom here. So what happens is when you try to tighten this down, regardless of what position you've got this thing in, it will try to rock the battery over and it just wants to flip the thing right out of the battery holder. And as you can see, if you continued cranking it, you could actually dump the battery over at a 45 degree angle. In fact, we've had customers who've experienced the unfortunate event of you know, having their battery tightened in there just so it's like at the tipping point and then hitting a big bump with the tractor driving out in a field and the battery actually flips. And, uh, you know, can if the terminals touch something, they can spark or acid can come out. Uh, it's a real pain. So we have no idea why BCS did this except for style. They said, oh, this has to look nice. Well, it doesn't make any sense because really what they should have done is move this lock tab that, that, that is the pull tab should be on the other side so that it can pull the battery this way. Of course, then you'd have to turn the battery around because you don't want to put this bar across where your terminals are and short out your terminals. But anyway, this is the way it's set up and we have to deal with it. So what we did at Earth Tools recently, uh, maybe spring of 2018, we made another wall. This battery box already has some holes in it here and usually the factory puts a little cup of uh, rubber bumpers in here uh, to kind of bump the battery up against which don't do much in fact they lower the point the kind of the fulcrum point at which the battery wants to tip so they're pretty useless uh, anyway we came up with these things had a local fabricator bend these things for us we bolt these things right into these two holes with a couple uh, 3 8 bolts and nuts and tighten them in place like so. The battery boxes are shock mounted, some of them by rubber on the bottom, so it's, it's moving naturally, it's not loose. Drop the battery back in. And now when we tighten this thing down, we will actually tighten it against something that is substantial. Oh yeah, that's right. I am doing this wrong because you do have to pull this thing up the other way. Yeah, when you when you put these on, you always want to make sure to have these hooks going to this side of those uh, those little pull tabs, not this side. The difference is how much bolt is going to be exposed here at the top. If you do it like this, you've got more bolt exposed, and when you turn your handlebars around, the shift levers actually hit these bolts. So you've got, to, you've, you've got to pull these things down by hooking them around this side of the pull tab. And that means that this angle here of hooking over this edge really doesn't work. 
So glad I did that wrong the first time. So let's see what right is. But once we crank this down, you'll see that the battery is nice and stable. It doesn't try to flip over because there's a nice wall it comes up against now. And if you'd like to purchase one of these things for your walk behind tractor, uh, you know, with this style of battery box, we do have them available separately at Earth Tools here. We are now installing them on all new tractors uh, starting sometime in the spring of 2018. That is all new BCS tractors with electric start are getting this thing at no additional charge from us. But if you want to order this for your existing tractor, it is part number ET0150 and it's 20 bucks including the fasteners. There we go. Nice and firm. Can't fall out. All I need to do is put on my terminals. Always put on the positive terminal first, then the negative terminal. Thanks for watching.